Some examples of limited stroke approaches. This is Mondrian. He goes from a realistic tree, breaks it down simpler and simpler until he ends up with just the primary colors and black and white lines. Picasso does the same thing with bulls, from a realistic drawing to a very simplified essence of bull. Tony Lane, as few strokes as possible to say exactly what he wants to say. This is mine, a very few strokes, keeping it simple. Margaret Dyer, with her values of light and dark. Tony Lane, the absolute fewest strokes needed to say what he wants to say. Jen Evenhus, with an economy of strokes that says water, cat nine tails, grass, and in the distance, that negative space creates trees. Casey Klan says, a forest with snow and boulders. Squint down, gorgeous, look closely, few strokes, powerful. We can do the same with watercolor. Just think ahead and plan as few a brush strokes as possible using the largest brush and the biggest wash as you can. Here are my steps. The image that I chose, because I love this little tree, a few charcoal sketches to get familiar with the design. Grab your color choices. Here it's a secondary triadic color scheme. And by doing it over and over and over and cutting down the strokes each time our muscle memory kicks in, we become familiar with the subject and our approach to it. And before you know it, we find the absolute essence of what we want to paint. Try it. It's a great experience, it's a good practice. And then with the familiarity with the subject and your approach, you're gonna create a wonderful, fresh painting.